guys. So I'm getting ready to upload my protein powder supplement review video. I just wanted to say a couple things before you watch it. Uh, one, I apologize for the length and the video quality is not very high, but hopefully I'll be able to compress my videos as well as learn more about video editing and possibly get a better camera if I can continue to grow my channel as I upload more videos. Um, and second, I wanted to clear up that I'm not in compilation <clears throat> with any of these companies and I haven't been paid to review any of these products. So this is my honest opinion. Towards the end of the video, I praise Trutine because I really do like this protein powder. It's not that I'm a rep for Trutine or that Trutine has given me free samples or anything in the past. I actually have received free samples, but not from Trutine. So they have no brownie points or anything. I just really do like their product. And I would also like to apologize if there's a protein powder out there that you really like and I haven't tried and it's not in comparison and you don't know where it would stack up with these others. So hopefully I'll be able to make another review video further down the road in a couple years or a year uh, once I've tried out some more products and compare it to some of these products that I've already tried out. But I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it's beneficial to you so that you can uh, find a good protein product that you're really going to enjoy. Hey guys, this is Blake with Feeling to Function, and behind me I have a melee of empty jugs of protein. Uh, and this might seem kind of ridiculous because there's like 15 jugs here, and a jug of protein runs like 40 to $50 a piece. It's like, I don't know, a lot of money. Um, but this is all the protein that I've used over about the last year and a half to two years. And when I first started my, we'll call it, journey of being healthy and transforming my body, I didn't know much, and I thought I had to be drinking like four protein shakes a day to get cut and ripped and whatever. Um, and you know, now maybe I drink one a day, and I'm still not cut and ripped or whatever, but uh, you don't need a ton of protein powder or any supplementation to achieve the physique you want. It's just beneficial it makes things easier, it makes it easier to hit your daily protein needs and to recover from your training. So, but today, what I'm going to do is take all these different protein powders and give you my thoughts and opinions on them so you aren't like me and don't have 15 different tubs here. You can just find one that you really like and stick with it because most of these are a pretty good product, but um, a couple of them were real duds and I think with this video you could avoid the duds or the mediocre products and just get some great tasting protein powder. So right here this was the first tub of protein powder I ever bought. It was Jillian Michaels all natural whey protein. I thought all natural Jillian Michaels she's a great trainer whatever. Uh, it's by Pure Protein. Didn't really like it. It wasn't, didn't mix very well and it's only like 15 grams of protein per scoop, where most of them run about 25 on average. I give that about a 4 out of 10. Taste, 6 out of 10. Mixability, about 3 out of 10. Fairly effective, I suppose, but protein's protein. Another pure protein product I picked up from Walmart. Hated it. Didn't mix well. Tasted really chemically. Definitely not going to recommend this product. As we work back, these do get better, I promise. I'm not a negative person. Uh, this was an unflavored whey protein isolate, so it was something you could mix in with like juice or whatever. But I didn't realize that at the time. I was just trying to steer clear of chemicals and whatnot and thought if I didn't have any extra flavor added, I wouldn't have any extra calories added. But unflavored protein, unless you're truly going to mix it in with like Gatorade or something, this stuff does, oh, it tastes awful. I, had to throw away part of the jug because I couldn't finish it. So I would not recommend that unless you really do need something unflavored to mix in. In that case, you can't really taste it, but alone it does have a taste and it is nasty. Uh, continuing down my journey, I went to a natural protein. I was all about being natural and none of these artificial things. Well, most of these have about the same ingredients, whether they're labeled natural or not. 100% uh, whey protein by Body Strong. Uh, I'd never really heard of this company once I started getting more into things. I don't know why I picked this one up in particular. Uh, it tasted okay, not amazing, not a very strong taste, but it had a faint vanilla taste that was okay. I'd give it about 6 out of 10. Kind of getting a little better though. Um, Dimatize Elite Gourmet Whey. I was trying to 
learning more, I was getting into the blended proteins to keep up my protein synthesis longer. And this is a 50% whey, 50% casein or casein protein. And whey is a fast stacking protein, ideal post-workout or in the morning. And casein is something that gets in your bloodstream slower and remains in your bloodstream longer. So the theory was mixing whey and casein protein post-workout, you would get the immediate protein as well as some sustained protein. Uh, but this product was okay, it didn't have an amazing taste, it mixed fine. Uh, Dimatize does put out a fairly cheap line, which I really do like, and they do have some good protein products. So I would recommend checking out Dimatize if you're new. Uh, pretty good products, they're isolate protein, I've heard great things about. This is the only one of their products I've tried. Uh, continuing on with, I was into blends, uh, Nitro Core 24 by Optimum Nutrition. Optimum Nutrition puts out a great line of supplements. This probably isn't one of their best supplements. I think they discontinued it. Uh, it's got like 190 calories in it, which is a lot more than most protein powders. Because back to when I was drinking like four protein shakes a day and just wasting a ton of my money. Uh, protein powders aren't something that are going to make you bulky. They're actually really low in calories and great for weight loss. And a lot of people that are gaining weight will take them also, but they'll mix them in with other things to up their calories. Uh, but I, you know, I'm not into the proteins that I've really enjoyed yet, so I'm just kind of blazing through these and showing them to you. But now, getting into some, oh wait, one more. This was something I picked up at Target, it was really cheap, it was like 30 bucks for a 6 pound bag, uh, Cytosport. Had higher saturated fat content than most, high protein content though, it was an okay tasting product. Uh, for the price, would definitely recommend it. It's 30 bucks for 6 pounds, really cheap right there. Uh, Gold Standard Whey by Optimum Nutrition again. This is a great product, perfect post-workout protein, but you know most proteins are going to be okay post-workout. Any type of whey will work. This one's hyd hydrolyzed, which means it's broken down so your body can digest it faster. Um, and it has some <coughs> digestive aids in it, so it really is a fast-acting protein. Uh, this was the chocolate peanut butter flavor. Pretty good flavor. Not the best flavor out of all these, but great product, about an 8 out of 10 on my scale. Uh, Muscle FX, Whey FX Gold, uh, it's a vanilla, I really, I've only had one, two, three vanilla proteins, four I think actually, and I really, this is a pretty good tasting product, I really like the vanilla, but it's hard to find a good tasting vanilla from what I've experienced. I give this about a 9 out of 10, 140 calories per scoop, good product. I would recommend it. That's Muscle FX, Whey FX Gold. Another great blend. This one was Pure Whey, by the way, as was this one. This is a blended protein. It's Myofusion by Gaspari Nutrition. Good protein, good taste. Uh, probably the second best tasting chocolate protein I've tried. The other one's in the closet. I forgot to grab it, but I will. Uh, about 150 calories per scoop. Good product. Um, recommend that. Let me grab my other one and shaker bottle. This is what I'm currently taking, as well as the Whey FX, so I have a vanilla and a chocolate right now. Uh, this is Skyvation Whey, it tastes great, it's 120 calories per scoop. Just started on this jug, but so far I really like it and would give it a great review. But finishing up with my Whey Protein, as ridiculous as it is, my absolute favorite, True Teen by True Nutrition Sciences. Uh, it's a protein blend and it's an anti-proprietary blend, which means that they disclose the amount of whey, casein, and egg albumin that's in this protein. And it's 40% whey, 40% casein, and 40% egg albumin. Which, the really cool part about the anti-proprietary blend, uh, with like Myofusion, they don't tell you how much of each thing is in there. And it could be the exact same blend, or it could be 98% whey, one casein, and one egg, because whey is the cheapest. Uh, and not to mention, the taste of this stuff was amazing. This is the best tasting protein. It was such a treat. Now that I've tried all these different proteins, just to try and get a grasp on which one I was really going to like, I will be ordering from True Nutrition Sciences probably for the remainder of my life. No, not really. I'll probably try other products still and later bring back a few of my favorites, uh, being these last five that I reviewed. Um, and compare them to my newer products if 
people want to see that, but this would definitely be my go-to recommendation as far as a good balanced protein that tastes amazing and has a great nutritional profile. Uh, I'd definitely try to check it out. That's True Team by True Nutrition Sciences. So finishing with my whey and blended protein, so I'm going to go into casein protein or casein. I don't know what the grammar police would tell me, but this stuff's way more expensive um, than whey protein in general, and I don't find it quite as necessary. The idea behind casein protein is that it's going to stay in your system longer, and you take it between bed or between meals or before bed, so that your body has protein to fuel your muscles all the time uh, and keep you out of a catabolic state, keep you anabolic. But I tried banana cream, five pound jugs. I thought it sounded really good. Didn't really like it. Didn't have a great taste. Not a very strong flavor. It's kind of. I don't know how to describe it, but I wouldn't recommend it, and it, it doesn't mix quite as easily as whey protein. Um, the only way I found that I did like this was in oats with peanut butter. That was a pretty good flavor. But I had a buy five pound, get a two pound jug free. That was when I got chocolate peanut butter. like it a lot more than banana cream, but I just find the flavor of whey protein to be better than casein in general. Um, then there was a buy one get one free for two pound jugs, and I got vanilla and cookies and cream. Uh, the vanilla wasn't nearly as good as the True Team or the Muscle FX, but it was okay. And then, but as far as casein goes, I would recommend chocolate peanut butter or the cookies and cream. But overall, I would say if you just get a good whey protein and then focus on real foods throughout your day. Some foods that naturally have casein protein in them, if you are interested, would be like Greek yogurt, which has tons of other health benefits. Cottage cheese, which cheese generally isn't very healthy, but if you get a reduced fat cottage cheese, it is a great source of protein and can calm that craving for cheese, because I know a lot of people like cheese and it's hard to incorporate on a diet. Uh, so with all these, you would take it, you would mix it in a blender bottle or with oatmeal or something, use it in baking. But if you weren't able to come home, make a protein shake, take a protein shake with you to the gym, you were on the road and you were looking to get some extra protein in you, they have ready to drink shakes. Uh, these ones are by Muscle Milk. I have tried all four flavors now. And this was just a special Olympic bottle that I thought was cool, so I bought. Um, these are gonna be about $3 a piece, which is a lot more expensive than protein powder, which is gonna run you probably 60 cents to a dollar a scoop depending on what you pay for them but these things taste really good uh, if you can afford them they'll be just as effective as anything else but they do have a good thick consistency they do taste awesome uh, after cardio I found these Dairy Gold Refuel it's like 400 calories per bottle so it is gonna be a lot of calories but it's got a 3 to 1 carb to protein ratio and it's low fat um, and it's really going to be a good product to help drive some protein into your muscles after a long training session and help you recover. And finally by Oh Yeah Nutrition, 32 grams of protein in this shake. Uh, it's pretty similar to muscle milk but it does have a bit more protein. It's really not quite as good tasting as the muscle milk products in my opinion. Uh, even the Dairy Gold Refuel was a really good tasting product. This one still tastes good, just not as good for the fact that this was actually $4 for this bottle. I don't know why I bought it, but I did. Uh, so that would be my review of all these proteins. I hope you enjoy this. In the future, I hope to make a review of a couple of the free samples and a couple little jugs of pre-workout supplements that I bought. No, I'm not 18 yet, but I have tried a couple and I would like to let you know what I thought of those as well as branched chain amino acid supplements and things of that sort. I'll probably do all that in one video because the array is not quite as, as impressive as my protein jugs. Um, but I hope this is helpful and leave me a comment on what you would like to see as far as reviews in the future or if you'd like to see some kind of a recipe video with a protein powder, let me know and I will do my best to come through on that. But hope you enjoy. If you're still thinking about it, protein would be what I would recommend. Dimatize probably would be the cheapest. Uh, 
don't know what else to really say there, but check them out. If you get on bodybuilding.com, they have some great tools so you can compare prices, compare ingredients. Everything uh, is fairly well priced com in comparison to other websites. So check it out, and I hope this helps you with your journey of transforming your figure, your physique, and everything else that you do. Okay, so that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was kind of boring. I hope that you leave me a comment, hit that like button. I can get this channel going. I can get you some more videos, whether it be more reviews or recipes or whatever you guys want to see. Let me know. Like my page on Facebook, please. That would really help me to get started. Give me a little confidence. Maybe make me want to pump out some more videos and not think that this thing is just floating in cyberspace for no one to watch. But until next time, thanks for watching.